Hello future engineers, subscribers, viewers, and students. Here is another problem in dynamics, particularly on kinematics of particles. I hope that you will be able to understand the explanations and the solutions to this problem in animated uh, way so that uh, you will enhance your skills not only thinking skills but in mathematics so that you will be prepared in your engineering life so here is the problem a girl operates a radio controlled model car in a vacant parking lot the girl's position is at the origin of the xy coordinate axis and the surface of the parking lot lies in the xy plane she drives the car in a straight line so that the x coordinate is defined by the relation x as a function of time equals 0.5 t cubed minus 3 t squared plus 3 t plus 2 where x and t are expressed in meters and seconds respectively so determine when the velocity is zero the position and the total distance traveled when the acceleration is zero so we begin by so this is the figure and you look at the remote control radio controlled model car it is at position x equals 2 because when time is zero this is also 2 so we begin by setting up this position uh, equation then we know that the derivative of the position with respect to time is the velocity we set that to zero and the corresponding time would be the time when the velocity is zero then in part b the acceleration is the derivative of velocity with respect to time and we set again that to zero the expression for acceleration so that we can compute or determine the time where the acceleration is zero and from there we can substitute in the position relation the value of time when the acceleration is zero to obtain the position of the radio controlled model car when that time is obtained when the acceleration is zero and then the total distance traveled is uh, obtained by tracing the path of the remote or radio controlled model car from time equals zero to time where the acceleration is zero and from there we can analyze the total distance traveled so x is 0.5 t cubed minus 3 t square plus 3 t plus 2 so the derivative of x with respect to time is velocity so it is 0.5 times 3 dx dt velocity is 0.5 times 3 1.5 t square minus 3 times 2 so 6 t plus 3 so v equals dx dt equals 1.5 t square minus 6 t plus 3 before we equate this to zero we factor out 1.5 then we'll have 1.5 uh, quantity t square minus 4 t plus 2 so velocity is 1.5 quantity t square minus 4 t plus 2 and we equate it to zero so for uh, students where the rule in their statics class no calculators allowed then you can use the quadratic uh, formula which is time equals negative of negative 4 plus minus square root of negative 4 square b square minus 4 times ac so 4 times 1 times 2 all over 2 times 1 but it should be calculator aided the technology is advancing so why not use the calculator although you were trained in high school or even in element grade school to simplify equations or solve equations without calculators so you're already in college or in senior high 
we use the technology. So this is calculator aided. So using the calculator, the values of T would be 0.5858 seconds and 3.414 seconds. So there are two periods of time where the velocity is zero and these are the values of time. So we have two periods of time for our answer for part A. For part A. Then for part B, acceleration is the derivative of velocity with respect to time. So acceleration dvdt equals 1.5 times so, so 3t minus 6. And we again equate that to zero. So 1.5t squared minus 6t plus 3, that's velocity. So acceleration is dvdt. 3t minus 6 equals 0. So equating this to 0, t is 6 over 3, and that is 2 seconds. So we substitute t equals 2 seconds into the position relation or equation so that we can compute the position or determine the position of the radio controlled model car when t is 2 seconds because this is where acceleration is 0. So call it x sub 2. So x sub 2 is 0 0.5 times 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 square plus 3 times 2 plus 2. So this is 4 minus 12 negative 8 plus 6 negative 2 plus 2 0 so x sub 2 is 0 so the position of the remote or the radio controlled model car when the acceleration is 0 is at x2 equals 0 so it is somewhere here then finally it is here on the y-axis then the total distance traveled so x sub 2 x sub 0 when time is 0, x is 2 meters. So x sub o is 2 meters. We just substitute t equals 0 here. So x o is, zero, is 2 meters. Then when the velocity is 0, it changes direction at these two periods of time. But when the acceleration is 0, it is 2 seconds. So this is not a part of the determination of the total distance traveled when the acceleration is zero it is from zero to two so x sub 0.5858 we substitute here 0 0.5 times 0 0.5858 cube minus 3 times 0 0.5858 square plus 3 times 0 0.5858 plus 2 so using the calculator x the position of the radio controlled model car when time is 0.5858 or when the velocity is zero at this time is 2.828 meters. Then x sub 1 when t is 1 second 0.5 times 1 cube is 0.5 minus 3 times 1 square. So minus 3, 0.5 minus 3 is negative 2.5 plus 3 times 1 positive 0.5 plus 2 so 2.5 so x sub 1 is 2.5 and x sub 2 is 0 meter so we can plot x sub 2 is 0 we can plot on the on this axis here x in meters so these are the values of the position of the radio controlled car for periods of time such as when time is zero it is here beginning here when time is 0 0.5858 so it is at 2.828 so from zero to 0 0.5858 that's the movement of the radio controlled car model car then remember that at this time 0 0.5858 the velocity is zero so it means it changes direction so when time is one second, so after 0.5858, it is one second, it is at 2.5 here. Then when time is two seconds, it is at the origin zero. So this is the path movement of the radio controlled car from zero 
second to two seconds or when the acceleration is zero. So the distance traveled is simply the length of this path. And from the figure from 2 to 2.828, that is 0.828 meters, then from 2.828 to 0, that's 2.828. Therefore, the distance traveled by the radio controlled model car is equal to 0.828 meters plus 2.828. Again, from this position to that position, that's 0.828 meters and from 2.828 to 0 is 2.828 so 0 0.828 plus 2.828 that's the distance traveled by the radio controlled car and it is equal to 3.656 meters so that's it for this problem and i hope that your thinking skills is enhanced increased and i hope that you can solve problems by your own about kinematics of particles.